everybody welcome to vlogmas day nine it is actually about six o'clock and i have not vlogged anything today i had a very just boring run-of-the-mill day i went to work and i ran a quick errand to walmart after work and then got gas and now i'm home so uh, this is my first time filming today and i didn't know what i wanted to film but i thought it might be fun to share with you guys a little bit of my soak room i do have a couple orders to pack and I thought I would just kind of like share that. If you guys don't know, I do have a soap shop on Etsy. It's called Velvet Soap Company. And I sell soaps and I also sell wax melts as well. So yeah, we're gonna go through. I'll do like a really quick little tour and I have a few little soap tasks to do tonight. And I think I might actually vlog a little bit tomorrow too. And we're probably going to make a batch of soap together. So I will share with you guys what my soap studio looks like. All right, so this is basically my soap studio. It is definitely in a rough shape right now. It's not where I want it organizational wise, furniture wise. I mean, there's a few extra things in here too that don't quite belong. So it's just a little bit all over the place at the moment, but this is where I keep all of my soap inventory. So I have these little shelves here that I have all kinds of different soaps that I sell. So I'll just do like a quick little pan of some of the things that I, that I have for sale in my shop. And over here, I have a few more designs. So I have a lot of different designs, a lot of different scents, all kinds of things. So. Here is a lot of the soaps that I have. And then up top here, we have some wax melts that I have stored in these little containers here. This one is one of my favorite ones. This is called Fruity Loops. And it is a Fruit Loop inspired wax melt. This is all 100% wax. So I just love how cute this turned out and it smells exactly like it. So I have a whole bunch of different scents here. I've got a caramel kettle corn one here. This one's really cute. Again, the little popcorn pieces are all made of wax. We've got a little Halloween one here as well. This one is Halloween Town. This one's one of my favorite scents ever. This one is Toasted Marshmallow, Velvet Woods, and Golden Amber, and it is a Bath and Body Works duplication of Marshmallow Fireside. It smells delicious. And then we've got a few more over here. We've got this one. This is a soft baked pretzel one. Again, the pretzel is made entirely of wax. We've got a few more Halloween ones. This one is like a Beetlejuice inspired one. I love how that one turned out. This one is like a cinnamon bun inspired one. This is one of my favorites as well. This is a salt water taffy scented one. This one smells amazing. This one is a blue raspberry slushy. This one smells so good. There's a cherry slushy in there. There's a whole bunch of different scents that I have. So if you love wax melts, definitely check these out. I sell them on my Etsy shop and they are pretty affordable. These are $2.50 a piece and you can totally like cut these in half and get more than one use out of them. But so these are all of my wax melt stock at the moment. Over here are some soap samples I have that I have already packaged up, but they're not all labeled. So I have a few here that do have labels on them, but most of these do not. So whenever I run out, I will actually label the rest of them. Here are a few more little sample soaps that I have. I like to send them out with all of my orders. So if you purchase anything from me, you can definitely you probably find one of these in your order. This is a bit of my workspace. It is terribly messy at the moment and I think we're going to work on trying to clean all this up tomorrow because I do want to make more soaps and there's just so much stuff that needs to go back to its spot. Then over here I have some more little soaps. Let me pull these out so you can see them better. I have them all packed up for a craft bear that I did a couple weeks ago. So here are these soaps. These are little coffee soaps inspired by a certain famous coffee brand. <laughs> So each of these are a different scent. This one is salted caramel. This one is a peppermint mocha scented one. This one is a pumpkin spice scented soap. And the last one here is a java chip inspired scented soap. I'm gonna actually be putting these up on my shop tonight. So if you guys are interested in trying any of these soaps, definitely check them out on my Etsy shop. I'll have it linked below. And these are my most recent soaps that I have made. These have been curing for a couple days now, so that's when I typically like to bevel them when they're not super soft, but not too hard either. So this was like a really fun little design that I came up with just kind of like on a whim. I wanted to do like these outer space planet kind of soap with little space rocks in it. And I 
I used up some leftover soap scraps to kind of create the like galaxy and star fragments and I just really like how these turned out and they smell amazing you guys. I love the scent of these. Okay so what I like to do I don't use any type of fancy tool it's literally just like a little vegetable peeler that you can get for like a dollar at the Dollar Tree and I just like to gently bevel these edges and just take these little curls off and I find that it just kind of gives like a much more finished kind of look you know it doesn't really matter if you bevel or not but sometimes whenever I cut these soaps it will be left with little jagged edges from the cutter string so I just like doing something like this just because I feel like it just makes it look a little bit more professional and then I'm left with these little swirls and curls that I can use for other projects just like this so if you can see this is the unbeveled one this one just has a little bit some this one just has like a little bit of like rougher edges and this is the beveled one I think it just looks really nice and I really just pretty much prefer the overall look of it when they are beveled so I'm gonna go ahead, bevel all of these, and just do like a little speed up. That's not roasting. Like frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a sample frame. Although it's been said. Times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. All right, so after beveling all 20 of the bars, this is how much little soap curls we are left with. So I am going to save these and I'm just gonna put them in a little Ziploc bag and save them until I have a project where I need some gray or blackish soap curls. And now I'm gonna put all of these soaps back on the curing rack so they can continue to cure for about, I would say three to four more weeks until these are ready. All right, and here is a little sneak peek at what the soap I plan on making tomorrow is gonna entail. So this one, I actually have made all of these embeds probably about, shoot, maybe three or four weeks ago, and I have just been chomping at the bit to make this soap, but I just have not had time in my schedule lately to do it. So I think tomorrow we are going to make it happen, and this one's going to be a Candyland-inspired soap. So I made all these little perfect candy uh, embeds and it was actually inspired by these little paper straws that I found at the store and I even found these little sprinkles that are pretty much like the exact colors of my embeds here so this is absolutely perfect I can't wait to make this I'm aiming to make it tomorrow I have not picked out a fragrance oil for this one yet so I might need to go through and sniff a few fragrance oils that I have and kind of like see what I want to do for the fragrance and as far as all of my fragrance oils I have a lot of them I keep them in this little chest cabinet here i have quite a few there's even a few more in the back here and this isn't even all of them i have a couple like pulled out for other projects but yeah i have a lot of fragrance oils so i need to go through pick out the ones i think scent wise would make sense ha 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 and then figure out which one i'm going to use from there okay so i went through some of my fragrance oils and i picked out a few that i thought could be good um, options for these soaps. So the first one I have here is Rainbow Sherbert. I love the scent of this one. I've used it a few times before and I've always just really loved the scent of it. The next one I have is called Jammin' Rock Candy, another one of my favorites. These are really good sweet scents because if you didn't know, any fragrance oil that has vanillin in it, if it has larger amounts of it, it can actually discolor your soap to like brown or tan or even black, depending how much vanillin is in it. And that's what makes stuff smell sweet like vanilla, which is so kind of counterintuitive with cold process soap, because if you want to make a vanilla soap and you want to make it white like vanilla, 
it won't happen. So, so you have to get creative when you want to have a light colored soap with a sweet smelling type of fragrance oil. So you just got to get creative at times. Another one I have, this one is called Goody Goody Gumdrops. That one I like. And then this one is called Jellyfish Bubbles. This one, you know, it just based on the name, you probably wouldn't expect it to fit this design idea, but it actually smells very sweet and fruity, but it does not have very much vanillin in it. So it will not discolor darkly, but I think this one could discolor just a little bit to like a tannish kind of color. So if that's the case, I'm going to take this one out of the running. And then the last two options I had were some perfume fragrancy type ones. So this one I have here is Can Can type like by Paris Hilton duplication kind of scent. This one smells a little bit sweet. This one's definitely on the sweeter side, but I think it might be a little overwhelming for the Candyland theme. So I'm going to nix this one. And then I'm also going to nix Princess type. This one is also a Vera Wang duplication type fragrance. And I just think that this one's too heavy. So, so we are going to nix those three. And now I'm between these three here. Okay, so I just did a quick refresher smell between all three of these just to kind of get an idea of what I think of these. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate goody goody gumdrops. This one almost goes just a little bit towards bubble gum, but not quite just like a true straight up bubble gum. So I'm going to just take this one out. And I think what I'm actually going to do is maybe do a 50 50 blend of rainbow sherbet and jam and rock candy. I love these two and they complement each other very well. They're in that same light sugary fruity type of scent family. And I think that these two would actually just work perfect together. So we're going to do a custom blend of this one for our soap. All right. So now that we have all of these soap elements figured out, out and planned out the fragrances we're going to use, the decorative pieces that we're going to use. We are going to get ready to make this tomorrow. So I have a shipment of some raw supplies that are coming in for my soap oils. So I will need to prep that tomorrow once I get that order in. And once we have that done, we will start making the soap. But until then, I think I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning and tidying up around my soap studio and just get my workspace in order because I have a whole bunch of things all over the place. I have some dishes I need to clean up and sterilize and then get everything ready for making soap tomorrow. All right and we got a soap order so I am going to package this up. Someone purchased the blue raspberry slushy soap. This is one of my favorites. This one is a really, really good scented soap. I love it a lot. All right, and let's pick out two samples. I've got the wasabi and ginger sample, and then we've got the oatmeal, milk, and honey one. We're going to put those two in the order. And then down here, I keep my little packing supplies. So we're going to grab one of these small bubble mailers. Okay, and I've got my box of packing supplies, so I'm gonna get a little tissue paper. Okay, so I've got my little sheet of tissue paper here. I'm gonna wrap up this bar of soap. I always like to do that for every single bar of soap I sell to just try to protect it as much as possible. And I have to say, I am not the best wrapper ever. I kinda just like to fold these in a little bit, make it just a little bit smaller. Like I said, I'm not the best at this. Maybe one day I'll find like a really super cute kind of method of wrapping it. But for now, it really is just more of a protective type of packaging for me. So I'll just fold. So I'll fold those sides in and I'll just kind of wrap up that little end and we'll just kind of do like a little roll to wrap those up. And then when I get to the little end, I like to kind of fold it over a bit. And then I take one of my logo stickers and just secure that down so it doesn't come unwrapped. Then I take my little scale here. I put this all together before I package it up because I need to weigh it to make my shipping label. And we're at 7.15 ounces. Okay, so now I can package this up. So I'm going to take the soap here. push that in and then we'll take the two samples put those right there at the top and we'll seal this up and then we'll go print our shipping label
Okay, so I just got finished preparing some of my sticker orders that I got over this week. So uh, this one I wanted to show real quick. This is my murder mystery kit. It is, of course, inspired by Clue. So this is just what the kit looks like really quickly. And that is the last page there. So that is, oh, just kidding. This is the last page here. So that is Murder Mystery. The next one I have here, this one is called Foolish Mortals. This is, of course, inspired by the Haunted Mansion. I actually have two Haunted Mansion kits, and this is my most recent one. So this is what this one looks like. And last page there. And this one is called New York Minute. This one's just kind of like inspired by like New York apartment loft kind of vibes. So there is the first page here. And the last there. So I am going to pack up these orders and ship them out today. But if you are interested in checking out any more of my kit designs, I have almost a hundred different designs for planner kits. If you are into that on my planner sticker shop, it's called Velvet Paper Company. And I have, I think about almost a hundred unique designs on there. So definitely check them out if you're into planner stickers. All right, I got my orders packed up. I have a soap order that I'm taking as well. So I'm gonna take all of these together when I head off to the post office in just a couple hours here on the way to my dad's birthday party. All right, I just put in a print of this poem that I got for my dad as a gift. Um, his birthday is today and I'm going to go over to his house and have a little birthday celebration for him. So I got this cute little frame yesterday and I just put it in here so it's all ready for him. And I know I'm always wearing this sweater. I know I've been wearing it all the time. This is basically just like my I wear it when I'm cold sweater and it's just been cold in my house lately. So I've been wearing this a lot lately. I promise I don't wear this every single day like for a week straight like I just put this on when I'm cold at my house but I'm, I need to get ready now I need to do something with my hair I need to do my makeup and I also want to film some videos I don't think I'm gonna have time for that before my dad's birthday so we're probably gonna have to do that later tonight afterwards but I need to I need to start getting ready. Okay, I finished my hair and makeup. I am just about to go, but I think someone rang the doorbell, so I think that means that my soap supply order is here. So um, hopefully that is there. I also got this nice new camera mount for my car so I can actually drive, which is so convenient and a little bit more flattering than just some random precariously propped up camera. So yeah, we're gonna run to the post office and head over to my dad's. This is actually so much more convenient now because I, number one, I don't have to look at the camera at all because it's actually like propped up and I can tell that my phone's not gonna like fall off something. This is actually really, really great. I actually had one of these mounts before and I really loved it. And the problem was it's actually kind of like one that hooks onto your, um, your rear view mirror so that it just kind of like hangs down off of that. So it doesn't obscure any of like your, you know, windshield or anything, which is great. But the problem I had with that one is I accidentally left it in my car during the summer. And since it was made of like plastic and it gets so, so hot in the summertime, it had like melted some of the plastic and had like misshapen it. So it no longer fit on the like rear view mirror. So I ended up getting another one. It's similar to, it's the same like kind of concept, but it's honestly, I think it's a much, much better quality. So yeah, maybe I'll do these little like drive with me chats and stuff because this is so, this is so much better, like so much better, but I'm just going to head over to the post office and I'll probably check back in after the birthday party when I'm on my way home because I've got so much stuff still to do tonight. All right. I just made it to my dad's house. We're going to have a little birthday party for him and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Okay. I'm back home. I definitely was there longer than I anticipated. So unfortunately I'm not going to have time to edit my video today and put it up. So I'm going to have to do that tomorrow and be a day behind, but it is what it is. I'm sure all 10 of you <laughs> that are watching this <laughs> are going to be okay with it. So it is what it is and we won't have time to make soap tonight either so maybe we'll push that off until tomorrow but we will see but yeah so i'm back home i've still got videos i need to film tonight so 
even though it's already nine o'clock, it's still going to be a late night for me. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Vlogmas, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.